Hello and welcome to a new vlog. I totally forgot to end the last one, but it is now May 2nd and I'm currently in Colorado actually visiting my family and visiting my boyfriend's family and all these fun things. And right now he's actually out on a run and I'm just doing some computer type stuff with YouTube, which we'd be like, oh gosh, vlog. Um, and we are soon going to head down to Colorado Springs so I can visit a friend of mine from high school who lives down there and then we're actually going to go back up to where he is from and meet his mother, grandmother, and brother for dinner. And we leave on Tuesday, so in two days we're going to head back up to Bozeman. But I just wanted to check in, start the vlog, see what's up. Probably not going to be doing a whole lot of vlogging though while I'm in Colorado because I haven't been historically and also I'm just really trying to enjoy the time with my family and his family and everything but hello and welcome all right so I just got back to campus um, we got back into Bozeman yesterday at around 5 45 or so in the evening um, it was really nice spending time in Colorado with my family and my boyfriend's family but it was honestly really not relaxing. <laughs> we did a lot of driving back and forth between Littleton and Parker, which is like an hour. <sighs> but yeah, it was nice to see everyone and meet everyone and everything like that and have time out of the lab and away from work, but it still wasn't like super duper relaxing, you know? So I am sitting at my parking spot near campus, not wanting to go in. But I gotta go in. I got a sample today. We're, we changed our lab meetings to Wednesdays at 11 a.m. So I have that today as well. And yeah, that's where I'm at. I gotta take some of my plants back to my office. I don't think I'll have too much work to do today, um, which is good because I need to like go grocery shopping. I need to wash my car because I parked it under a tree while I was gone and there's bird crap all over it. And I also need to like clean and do laundry and stuff so hopefully it's a short day in lab oh and I'm uh dog sitting for a girl this weekend so I need to go meet up with her and like figure out where her house is and meet the dog and figure out like all the things I need to do while she's gone this weekend with the dog so yeah so I'm dog sitting this cutie his name's Sterling and he's a husky and he hates the thing that he has to wear to go on a walk Totally meant to like film this before going and then right after, but I just got my second COVID vaccine. Um, Moderna, again, obviously. But this one hurts so much more going into my arm than last time. And I actually have a friend who works at the pharmacy that I get got the shot at. And he was like, yeah, there's actually bigger gauge needles now. I was like, yeah, no wonder. It seemed like he had to like stab it into my arm with like velocity. And he was like, yeah, don't tell your boyfriend. Because <laughs> my boyfriend is kind of like doesn't do well with hypodermic needles um so I'm actually taking him to his vaccine appointment in a couple hours and I'm not gonna tell him that it's bigger gauge needles and I'm not I didn't say that it hurt or anything like that um and then if he asks about it after the <laughs> vaccine happens I'll let him know but so far so good I'm just trying to like be moving my arm around a bunch because last time my arm was so so sore and I want to drink a whole liter of water before my boyfriend's appointment in an hour and a half so I'm just trying to stay on top of my water and have a chill evening and chill tomorrow. Happy May 8th. So much snow. I just wanted to give an update on how I'm feeling after the vaccine. And I feel honestly like totally fine except for the fact that I am so, so tired. I've already taken two naps today. It's like 5 p.m. right now. I laid, or I slept until like 7.30 and then had to come take care of the dog. And then I went back to my boyfriend's place and we laid in bed for like a couple more hours. And then took a nap at like, I took a nap from like 12 to 1. And then I took another nap from like 3.30 to 5. And I'm just so, so tired. He's having more like flu-like symptoms, like kind of feverish and nauseous and like body aches and laying in bed the whole day and everything. So it's just me with the dog today. But overall, 
I'm doing like pretty good. I'm just so tired. And part of that also might just be because um, I'm just like tired after going to Colorado and it was just like insane in Colorado. And then like being up in Montana, I haven't been able to take like a full day off. And today is kind of like my first full day off. So I don't know, but I am sleepy, which is fine. Cause it's been like raining and snowing today anyway. So yeah, I've just been like glued to this couch. <laughs> since I've checked in it is now May 14th and I am actually sitting outside of Ross dress for this and I'm gonna go see if they have any uh, queen sheets for like fairly cheap I want a second pair of non flannel sheets that way when I would need to do a, like laundry on one of them I could just put the other set on right away rather than having to wait for laundry to be done all that um, I also need new jeans, new skinny jeans, because both of my pairs of skinny jeans have one as a hole in the butt and one has a massive hole in the knee. So I need a new pair of skinny jeans because I like wearing leggings, but I also like being able to dress cute and not look kind of like I'm not trying, you know? So I'm going to pop over to Target after this and try and grab a pair of jeans. Um, I was probably hoping to buy the same exact pair of jeans that I had that ripped. So we'll see how that goes. Let's go. All right, I just got back from Target and Ross. I got these sheets from Ross. They're like a blush pink by BCBG Generation or whatever. I don't know. They're $18, they're blush pink. Um, my comforter is white with some light gray details, so I figured this would look good with it. Not that I really care if my sheets match my comforter. And then at Target, I got two pairs of the high-rise skinny jeans in the same size that my old ones were so we'll see if they fit i'm gonna try them on and see if i end up having to return them i'm gonna be kind of upset because my other jeans still fit they just had the hole in them so i don't know we'll see all right they both fit um i honestly probably could have gone for the mid-rise skinny instead of the high-rise skinny because my belly button's right there and that is like really really high but they fit they were $25 each, which is honestly pretty good for jeans, and I just really needed jeans, so heck yeah. Looking in, I know I look a little crazy. I'm about to braid my hair. Um, me and my boyfriend and my friend are all going for a one-night camping trip. Super easy, just car camping. Um, hopefully along the Madison River today. Um, maybe we end up having to drive out to Revenue Flats, I don't know. But yeah, so we're leaving for that in an hour and a half or so, and so I just finished getting all my stuff together. I'm doing some quick laundry, uh, not for the trip, but just like in general, so hopefully that finishes up before we need to leave. Um, and then I baked some banana bread as well as some peanut butter chocolate chip cookies for treats, for snacks for us. So yeah, I'm hoping it'll be a fun night. It'll be my first night of camping in Montana this season. We did do a trip out to Idaho for a hot spring um, in early March actually, so. It'll be nice, mid-May camping. I'm stoked. Just waking up, or not waking up. We woke up at like seven, it's like eight now, just getting out of bed. Um, it's really beautiful. My friend is going fly fishing right now and my boyfriend is on his way to the bathroom. But I'll show you a little bit more of our camping. So if you look out of the van, on the beautiful Madison River, over there, my friend just walked by, right there, there she goes, fly fishing. I'm probably gonna sit outside and read and have a lovely morning. Hello, just checking in. Um, it is the 20th of May and it is raining and snowing and all around pretty gloomy but I'm also really really enjoying it it was so hot last weekend and the first part of this week and so this is what a true Montana spring is like let me show you so here we've got spirit the bobcat statue and then Montana Hall and you can't really see it 
too, too well, but there is some snow that's sticking and you can't see any of the mountains around us or anything. It's lovely. Happy May 21st. Yay. It is still snowing. And it's been snowing pretty much all day. Fat flakes, small flakes, coming down fast, coming down slow. Still snowing. <laughs> we'll see how much more we wake up to tomorrow. Some of it did melt throughout the day, I can tell, but gosh, I just love Montana in the spring. <laughs> but this is fully expected. I actually do enjoy the snow. It'll be good for fire season. So, yay. Hello, it is May 28th now, Friday. And I am just heading into the lab for probably about two hours and then I'm going to go pick my boyfriend up and we are heading down to Salt Lake City for Memorial Day weekend. Um, he has a haircut at 10 so that's why we're leaving a little bit in the like mid-late morning. I'm super excited I've never been to Salt Lake. We're going down there to visit a friend of his as well as just kind of like have our own little vacation. I'm super duper excited. Um, along the drive we will pass right next to the Tetons, which I'm super excited about. I've never been to Teton. It's my goal this summer. I've never seen them up close. And then we're also going to pass by um, some sand dunes in Idaho. And either on the way down or on the way back from Salt Lake, I actually want to stop at the sand dunes. Because I think there may be like a 15 minute drive off of the highway that we're going to take. And I'm also excited because I want to do some plant shopping down in Salt Lake because after watching like Harley G, and yeah she the the plant shops just look so good down there so i'm very excited but first two hours of work yeah we are at j and j's yeah yeah i went to my tang year so just stopped at j and j's nursery and honestly not as hype as i expected it to be but i did get a plant We just got back from getting donuts at Bambury's Donuts. I ate one on the walk, and I saved this one. So far, it's been really good. The first one. Definitely recommend if you're in Salt Lake City. Bambury's Donuts. They open at like 5 a.m. So we're in Little Cottonwood Canyon. Down there is not our car, but our car is parked this way. And we're doing some climbing. And I'm probably mostly gonna do some lounging, <laughs> sitting in the sun and reading. But a couple of climbs, we'll see. Ridiculous. Look at those massive cacti. How much do you think they are? My guess is like two grand. Oh, that's not bad. Good old paradise palm. Good morning. Oh, just hit the phone with my name. <laughs> Good morning. Um, I am on the way to the salt flats with my boyfriend. Um, his friend that we're visiting didn't want to join us because she's been there before and she's like, there's not a lot to do out there, but I'm still excited to go. I've never been. It looks super duper cool. We're just stopping for gas and then we're going to head out there. It's like an hour, 45 minute drive. So it's kind of far for a day trip, but also like I'm already down in Salt Lake. This is the closest I'll ever get to them. So yeah, we're going to go out there and then be back in Salt Lake by like mid afternoon, so like 2, 3 PM. And then we'll figure out something to do tonight. So we're at the Salt Flats. It's weird because the road literally just ends and you drive onto them. There are no rules! Look at all these white cars. Like, this would be a great place for a white car commercial. You yeah, know? it would. It's getting kind of funky over here. I'm okay. to turn around. Yeah, go for it then. But what is
past that over there. smoke went that I was seeing. It's like gone now. They put out the tire fire. Hello, I just got back to Bozeman. It's the last day of May and therefore the end of this vlog. It was a super fun time going down to Salt Lake City. Um, I'd never been down there. I haven't been to Utah since I was in like sixth grade. So on our way down there, we skipped the sand dunes, um, but on our way back, so we got down to Salt Lake City. We did a day of like rock climbing. And then we spent one of the evenings um, kind of biking around the city a little bit, going to a couple different breweries and getting some ice cream and biking around. And then the next day, my boyfriend and I drove out to the salt flats and it was so, so cool. I'm so glad we did it. Um, and then that afternoon, we kind of just hung out that afternoon, evening, just kind of hung out at the house, did some gardening and played some cribbage. And then this morning we woke up, uh, we walked to get donuts again. And then we actually were able to stick around for a little bit because one of my other boyfriend, one of my boyfriend's other friends had flown in that morning to Salt Lake. So we had a little bit of a late departure just so we could grab lunch with him and then started the drive back to Bozeman and we stopped in the sand dunes for about an hour of a detour and it was super cool. Um, definitely worth probably going down there and actually camping down there at some point and then came back to Bozeman. So yeah, that is it for the trip and that is it for the month of May vlog. June is going to be crazy busy with work and everything else I've got going on so stick around for that. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.